first date, you know, like you're like nervous to see your child. Tonight, Anna and Alex Nikolaev got the chance to visit their son, but just for an hour. CPS took five month old Sammy from his parents on Wednesday night. And now we're learning that there was a breakdown in communication between police and CPS. So on Monday, the family is going to go to court, hoping to get their baby back for good. Of course, that's a long wait for the Nikolaev. Sammy was taken from them on Wednesday night after the family left Sutter Memorial to get a second opinion on their son's condition. News 10 Simney Chuin joins us, and Simney police did determine the baby was safe with the parents, right? That's right, and that's why partially the Nikolaevs are so baffled when CPS and police showed up at their home on Wednesday, and now we're learning that there may have been a breakdown in communication. This was video Anna and Alex Nikolaev took from their first one hour visit with Sammy at Sutter Memorial. She was allowed a second one hour visit with him today, but cameras weren't allowed. It's stolen moments like these Anna lives for now. It's like everything in your stomach is turning around, you know, like, and then you just see his toothless smiling and it just kills everything in you. It was nice, at least for an hour. It was the way today we learned an important nugget of information. Police were in contact with Anna and Alex a day before CPS took the baby and determined Sammy wasn't in danger. But right now it's unclear if that message ever made it to CPS. Let's break down the sequence of events. It all started earlier this week. Sammy's parents say they were at Sutter Memorial, but were not happy with the level of care. Anna wanted a second opinion, so she took him against medical advice. Sammy was taken to Kaiser Permanente, where Records show the doctor looked at the five month old and stated, I do not have concern for the safety of the child at home with his parents. And here's what we confirmed today. A Sacramento police officer met Sammy's parents at Kaiser. After talking to medical staff, the officer agreed Sammy was safe and was cleared to go home with his parents. But the next day, CPS showed up at the Nikolai of home and with Sacramento PD as backup and took Sammy into protective custody. Since that time, Sammy is being cared for by Sutter Memorial where this whole saga began. CPS has refused to comment on this case, citing privacy law. All Sammy's parents have been told is that Sammy was taken because of severe neglect. You know, like sitting there like in prison, like they watching you, you know, like not to do anything wrong, just take your child in your hands, like being safe, you know, like you're just feeling not yourself. Basically, you're being watched over by uh, a lot of people, actually. So it, it's not that comforting. Anna and Alex will be allowed additional visitation this weekend. They'll get to feed Sammy three times on both Saturday and Sunday. Now, we also spoke with their attorney, Joe Weinberger, tonight. They have a court hearing at Juvenile Dependency Court at 8.30 a.m. And Weinberger says he's been having trouble getting a hold of important documents. He says he made numerous phone calls to CPS today. He finally heard back from someone at 4.45 p.m. who told him he'd need to contact county council. And that phone call went unanswered. It is simply an effort by CPS to stack the deck. It's trial by ambush. I'm gonna have to fly by the seat of my pants and convince the judge that Anna and Alex are wonderful people, that the doctor at Kaiser knew what he was doing, and that the parents have a right to control the medical choices for their child, despite what another doctor says. Sammy has had a heart murmur since he was born. Anna and Alex say they knew he was in need of heart surgery, but it wasn't supposed to take place immediately, and they simply wanted a second opinion. They say no one ever gave them reason to believe his health was in imminent danger. Do we know why yet that the, uh, the police officer who visited the Kaiser facility and saw that Sammy was okay, said, you know, cleared the parents to go home, why, you know, that uh, information never made it to CPS? And those are one of the things that we are trying to seek answers to because, as we mentioned, that was an important negative information that we learned today. We do know that he was cleared, but we don't know what happened after that. We don't know if the officer made the report to CPS. We don't know if CPS ever got that. But from our understanding of the way CPS operates, that there are certain triggers that go into effect after situations happen when a child um, is taken out of a hospital against medical advice. and. One of those triggers is that CPS should have been notified. So one of the big questions is, is even if the police officer never called CPS to tell them that they cleared the family, that Sammy was indeed safe, should CPS 
have contacted police. And we just want to tell you this video that you're seeing now of Sammy. This was two days before his parents took him to Sutter. Okay, so this is not a baby that looks like it's in imminent danger. And as you said, Simony, that's a standard that CPS needs to use here and abide by when you just show up at a family's house, even without a police warrant, and yank the child out. And does it seem that that standard was met here? Yeah, the CPS has been saying from the get-go that they will not answer any of our questions because they can't comment on any specific cases. But as you mentioned, we do know that when situations arise, social workers are supposed to take a risk assessment. That risk assessment determines whether that baby is in imminent danger. Is that, is that baby unsafe staying at home with the parents? If that risk, if imminent danger is met, then the social worker can go and remove the baby, take the baby into protection of custody uh, without an order, without a court order. And we understand that is what happened in this case. But as you mentioned, it does not appear that Sammy is an imminent risk. It doesn't look like he is going to be dying anytime soon. And the other question that also arises is if CPS did believe that he was in danger, why did they wait a day to take him into protective custody? Because as we understand, Sammy was uh, taken from the hospital on Tuesday. CPS and police never showed up at their house until Wednesday. Well, obviously, they have some sort of checklist that we are not privy to, and enough items were checked that they felt they needed to take him. Okay, court hearing on Monday morning. I'm guessing imminent danger is going to be a key factor uh, in that court hearing, and uh, we'll be covering the story for sure. Absolutely. All right, Simply thanks. Thank